Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Chrome extension development series. In this video, we're going to be talking about message passing. So basically what message passing, passing is, is it allows you to send messages from a content script or a background script to another part of the extension or to another receiver. So in this context, we have some message that we're going to be sending from the content script. And we're going to be sending it to the background script and that background script is going to handle it. Now this is very useful because it allows us to affect both the background and the foreground using whichever script we want. And so as you know, the background script is not able to affect what's actually on the page, but by sending a message from there into the current tab or into the content script, we're able to effectively change what we're doing. All right, so let's just get into it. I already have the code written and I'll go through it line by line and show you guys exactly what's happening. So this code at the top is from our previous video. So this only focuses on line four through seven. And so on line five, we have here chrome.runtime.send message, greeting hello, function response, and then console.log response.farewell. So what's this? So what this is doing is it's getting the runtime and it's sending a message into that runtime. And the greeting or the message that we're going to be sending is just going to be called hello. You can change that to whatever you want, but that's the message that's going to be sent to wh whoever is going to be receiving it. Then on, on the response, so once we receive a response, this function is going to handle it. And that's what this first parameter is, response. And then once the function handles that response, we're going to log to the console Remember, for a content script, the console is directly within the page. It's not within the service worker console. So we're going to log to the console the farewell of that response, which is basically the message that the response sends back to us. And then now let's go on to the receiving end. So here in background.js, I have the receiver. So we have chrome.runtime.onMessage.addListener. So we're creating, an, we're creating a listener to to do something once we receive a message, so on message. So once that event happens, then we're gonna run this function. It has a request, a sender, and a send response. And then once this function starts running, the first thing it's gonna do is it's going to log to the console. And now this console is going to be the service worker console, not the console that's on the page, because remember, this is the background script and it cannot affect whatever is going on on the page. And it's going to send the tab that the user is running from, which is basically the message from the current from the content script, and then the message that is being sent. And then if it, it's what this notation is, the um, question mark and then the colon. So if the tab, if this is being sent from another extension or from a background script, this will be from the extension. But if it's being sent by a content script, it's going to display the URL. And then we're going to say if the request.greeting, which is the message that the request is sending, and as you can see, our greeting is hello, it says if the greeting is hello, then send a response, which is the farewell, goodbye. And as you can see, we log to the console the response of this or the farewell of this response so now that we know exactly what's happening here let's take a look at how it works so all this is already saved and loaded into our extension so let's just reload it and remember this extension or this content script will only operate on google on google pages as you can see here you can change that matches array to whatever you'd like but this one only operates on google pages so let's open up another tab and let's just go to Steam code. Let's just say Steam code. All right, now let's open up our console. And as you can see, when we open up our console, first it says content. That was from the previous video, console.log content. But then also says goodbye. Now let's open up the service worker console. And as you can see inside of the service worker console, it says from a content script, colon, and then what we have here, the URL. And if we click on the URL, it takes us to the exact URL we were at before. All right, so now you know exactly how to send messages, and this is very useful. You can There are many applications to sending messages to different parts of your extension, but this is just a very basic overview on how to get that started. So you can find all this code on GitHub since we went over it pretty fast and since we didn't type through it exactly. And 
check out our discord you can send me messages ask me questions there or leave them in the comment section down below also you can check out our patreon as well this has been steam code I, got, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have please leave a like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one bye